Today, I thank God I wasn't qualified. I thank God. That I was not qualified. Now listen to me carefully. Listen, please. And, and just gently put your hands down, please. And just listen, okay? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. I will teach on the anointing that God gives someone when they're disqualified. Remember, through the impossible, God anoints people. How many understand? Say amen. Everybody thinks God anoints them when they have something. No. God anoints people when they have nothing. There was a man. There was a man named Elisha. Elisha. One day. He was plowing. In the field. Plow. One day, Elisha was working, plowing, not harvesting, plowing. The toughest job. Nobody wants to plow. Everybody wants to harvest. Plowing is having faith. And the Bible says God, God this is important. God God found Elijah and said to Elijah go find Elisha the son of Shepherd. son of Shepherd. 1st okay. King chapter 19 and there go pass by him and place the mantle ja laita mantteli on him hänet ylle so elijah joten elia goes finds elisha menee elian luokse ja löytää and does this ja tekee näin kova laboring kova työtä and god says to elijah ja jumala sanoo elialle you will find elisha sä löydät elia eli flowing Serving. And there, Elijah put his mantle on Elisha. Keep going. Keep going. And the Bible says, listen, he did this. Watch, watch. He did this. And he passed by. And the Bible says, Eli, Elisha. Followed Elijah and began serving him. Elijah served Elijah. Glass of water, his Bible, his napkin. His lunch, his glasses, and served Elijah every day. And the Bible says, Elijah followed Elijah everywhere. You 
washed his car. Hän pesi hänen autonsa. Iron his suit. Ja, Iron his suit. Silitti hänen paitansa. Pukunsa. Got him a cappuccino. Teki hänelle cappuccino. Made breakfast. Teki aamiaista. And served him. Ja palveli häntä. Elisha served Elijah. El- Elisa palveli Elijaa. Not a slave. Ei orjana. A servant. Vaan palveli. <laughs> and the Bible says listen please the spirit of Elisha took a towel took a towel, towel and he served like Jesus Jesus took a towel Jesus took a towel Four kingdoms. Neljä kuningaskuntaa. And took care of him. Ja piti hänestä huolta. There were seven thousand prophets. Siellä oli seitsemän tuhatta profeettaa. Seven thousand. Seitsemän tuhatta. God said to Elijah, I have seven thousand prophets in the land. That Jezebel has not killed you. Jumala sanoi profeetta Eli Elialle, että minulla on seitsemän tuhatta profeettaa maassa, joita Isabel ei ole tapahtunut. But there was one. Mutta oli yksi. Who was a servant. Joka oli palvelija. Listen to me carefully. Kuuntele minua tarkasti. Many pastors. Monet pastorit. But few servants. Mutta harvoja palvelijoita. Many prophets. Monia profeettoja. Few servants. Mutta harvoja palvelijoita. Many Christians. Want the anointing? They want the anointing. But nobody wants the towel. And the Bible says, four generations passed. Four. Elijah. First generation. Four kingdoms. He comes to a place named Bethel. And he says to Elijah, Elisha, Elisha, he says, Elisha, no more. You're fired. We don't have any money in the ministry. Bye-bye. No, he doesn't leave. <laughs> he says, as long as long as the Lord liveth, and you live, I'm never leaving. Imagine. This is not Finland, this is not Finnish style. But this is God's style. And God, God, Jumala. God, Jumala. God, Jumala. in Him, Hänessä. served Him. Palveli häntä. 
four generations. And he came. You're going to Bethel. You said, I'll never leave you. Never leave you. Come on, he's your papa. And the Bible says he went to Gilgal. And he served him. The prophet was thirsty. He was hungry. Served him. Listen now, you might think it's funny. All the days of his life. You know, everybody wants they know it. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants this. Nobody wants this. If you want the mantle, you have to learn how to use a towel. How many understand? The reason why there's no revival in Finland because there's no servants in Finland. I lived in Finland and I was a citizen of Finland. And a man of God came from Canada I'd be at the airport. When that man touches my land, my land will be transformed by the power of God. But you don't have that mentality. How many know the, how many know the mantle the anointing can bring gang activity in Finland down. It can bring it can bring drug addiction down. And I prophesy in 10 years you'll have the biggest gang problem in Finland that you've ever known. You, you older people will not believe it. Gang activity is rising. Young people suicide in Finland is becoming the highest in the world. Drug addiction is becoming big. You might not know that. But bicycle gangs in Finland is becoming big. But how many understand the anointing can break the yoke of bondage? So it's not the problem of the people. It's the problem of the people in the church. If they're watching by video, I pray every pastor would understand only servants are great in the kingdom. I learned to serve my brother Ben for many, many years. I learned how to iron suits. Yeah. I learned how to shoe shine shoes. How to wash his car. How to make him breakfast. When he needed hairspray. Hairspray. In Africa. <laughs> Henry would find me. Because I knew. 
koska minä tiesin, I'm probably the best että mä olen ehkä paras to serve a man of God. palvelemaan Jumalan miestä. And it's the spirit. I said it's a spirit. How many want the anointing for Jan of High? And you have to ask God to give you a spirit. Say with me, a spirit of a servant. Say it again. Don't be ashamed of that. Jesus said to his disciples, you want to be great in the kingdom? Then be the servant of all. In my church, I have a church. Most of my leaders didn't grow up in church. Some of them are ex-gangsters. Pastor, they won't let me open the door. I never carry my Bible. Never got my own cappuccino. I have a guy named Alex. He's so big. He won't let me put my shoes on. I say, Alex, let me put my own shoes on. He says, no, pastor. It's my privilege. You won't let me open my door. Get my car. I have never gotten my car. He, they bring my car right to them. I remember. My brother Benny likes orange juice. Squeezed. So I used to travel with the machine. Because he didn't like the orange juice from the store. He likes it fresh. And I had to taste every orange to make sure it was the best orange in the market. And I squeeze it. And many times he take a sip. It's just a sip, Pastor. Like this. It took me all day to get a more juice. All day to find it. In Nicaragua. El Salvador. Africa. Germany. Finland. I would find the best market in Finland. I went to a market in Helsinki. I found the best oranges. And I squeezed them. And when my brother said, Henry, is this freshly squeezed orange juice? Sometimes I want to say, I want to squeeze your head. <laughs> because he's my brother. And many times, I had to take my eyes out. Henry Hinn's eyes had to come out and put God's eyes in my eyes and serve not my brother, the man of God. Amen. So I said, try this. Wow, Henry. <laughs> this is the best orange juice. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hey, hey. <laughs> and I wanted to kill him. Because it took me four hours to get this orange juice. And he drank it in three seconds. I used to go to his hotel. 
They come to the car. They open the door. Take my Bible. Get me a Starbucks cappuccino. They take me to the church. Take my jacket. I never carried my bag. Never. I've never opened a door. And people come and see this kind of thing in our church. They said, how did you teach them this? I said, you can't teach this. This is when someone's spirit receives it. Because everything produces after its kind. I love Finnish people. I have some in my church. And they're very quiet. <laughs> they're 
their culture is laid back. They're just, their culture is not to serve. The Filipinos they love serving. The Latinos love to serve. The Mexicans love to serve. The Middle Easterners love to serve. This has nothing to do with culture. This is all to do with God. If you want the mantle, you want God to take your life and use you, then you're going to be learn how to use a towel with skill. With skill. I believe revival is coming to film. I said I believe revival is coming to film. Please listen to me. Stop playing for a minute. Stop playing. Listen to me. Look up here. There's 30 people in here. Last time I was here, there was 2,000 every service. I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. My brother Esau, I had lunch with him yesterday. He's my friend. He set up my meetings last time I was in Finland. We had two services in one day. Three o'clock, six o'clock. The three o'clock was packed. And six o'clock, buses were outside. And God did what he did. But I did not feel the urgency. The urgency. For Finland. Like I do now. The next five years. Finland is going to change fast. Either to a dark. Or to a light. Last time I stepped into Finland. And got off the plane. I did not feel what I felt this time. This time, I felt the dark spirit. And there's an oppression here. It's very strong. Sweden does not have it. Norway does not have it. Denmark does not have it. But it's here. And I'm telling you, the truth. God spoke to me that revival is coming to film. And you don't need a thousand people. You just need few people that will take a towel and do what God says. How many understand that? Say amen. I don't care if there's 30 people. And I don't care if there's two. I have crowds of 100,000. This is the smallest crowd I've had in 33 years. Most preachers would come here tonight and they'd walk out. To come 20 hours on an airplane to leave my family for 30 people and few that are not interested it's not my thing. But God spoke to me to be here. And I'm telling you the minute I felt my shoes I'm going to tell you something. You might think I'm crazy. I brought other shoes with me. And the Lord would not let me wear the other shoes. He made sure I wear these. 
vaan olen käyttänyt näitä. I never wear these in the service. Mä en koskaan käytä näitä I kokouksissa. Brought, I brought my suits. Mä toin pukuni ja kenkeni. And some fancy shoes. Ja sitten jotain. And God spoke to me. Hienoja kenkiä. Ja Jumala But puhui minulle. Wear these shoes. Käytä näitä kenkiä. I don't like wearing these shoes. Mä en tykkää näistä kengistä. Because they're old. Koska ne ovat vanhat. They're not comfortable. Ne eivät ole mukavat. But I've worn them all over the world. Mutta mä käytän niitä kaikkialla maailmassa. Mutta olen käyttänyt niitä kaikkialla maailmassa. And these soles. Ja nämä kengät. These shoes. Nämä kengät. Have stepped on land. Ovat astuneet tälle maan. Listen. That God can turn upside down. Maalle, jonka Jumala voi kääntää ylös alaisin. Amen. So when I came to Finland. Kun mä tulin Suomeen. And I got off the airplane. Ja astuin ulos lentokoneesta. And I went on the soil. Ja mä astuin maahan. I was wearing these shoes. Näillä kengillä. I'm serious. Mä oon vakavissaan. The Lord spoke to me. Herra puhui minulle. Revival is coming. Että herätys tulee. And I believe. Ja minä uskon. God's going to use Pastor Kai. Että Herra tulee käyttämään pastori Kaita. And Pastor, hear me. Kuuntele minua ja pastori. I told you before and I tell you again. Mä kerroin aikaisemmin ja mä kerron taas. The Lord brought me here. Jumala toi mut tänne. For you guys. Teidän takianne. You know that. Te tiedätte sen. Don't worry about your knees. Älä huolehdi polvistasi. But I want to tell you. Mutta haluan kertoa. Before you told me this. Ennen kuin kerroin tämän. Kuuntele. She doesn't know that I know. Hän ei tiedä, että minä tiedän. She thinks I don't know. Hän ajattelee, että minä en tiedä. She's a mighty evangelist. Hän on voimallinen evankelista. She's won more people to the Lord. Hän on voittanut enemmän ihmisiä Herralle. A lot of other people we know. Kuin monet muut, joita tunnemme. And when you have an evangelist, ja kun sulla on evankelista, for a woman, joka on nainen, so I know her past. Mä tunnen hänen menneisyytensä. In the spirit, hengessä. God can take this woman here. Jumala voi ottaa tämän naisen tässä. To, to Africa. Afrikkaan. And she would have thousands. Viedä hänet Afrikkaan, niin siellä olisi tuhansia. Tuhansia. If she go to the Philippines, ja hän menisi Filippiineille, I promise you, mä lupaan, she would draw crowds, että hän vetäisi kansan joukkoja. Tuhansia. To Jesus. Jeesukselle. Finland, Suomessa. She fights. Hän she, taistelee. She fights. Hän taistelee. Tell me. Listen to me carefully. Please. When God gives you women and men of God in your country, He's protecting your future. But when God starts taking people out, watch out. God will leave the nation. Jumala jättää kansakunnan. And you don't want that to happen. Ja te ette halua, että se tapahtuu. How many don't want God to leave Finland? Kuinka moni ei halua, että Jumala jättää Suomen? Henry, Henry, how, how could you say God will leave Finland? Sä voit sanoa, että Henry, kuinka voit sanoa, että Jumala jättää Suomen? I've seen God leave nations. Minä olen nähnyt Jumalan jättävän kansakunnan. Not because the homosexual. Ei homoseksuaalisuuden tähän. Not because the mafia. Eikä mafian takia. And the president. And witchcraft. Tai noituuden takia. It's his church. 
vaan hänen seurakuntansa tähti, joka ei ole halukas to serve. palvelemaan. How many want God to bring his kingdom here? Kuinka moni haluaa Jumalan tuoman kunikan with me? tänne? With me? Minun kanssani. Or without me? Tai ilman minua. You don't need me. Te ette tarvitse minua. You need you. Te tarvitsette teitä. To have a spirit. Että teillä on henki. To serve. Palvelemisen henki. Right now? Juuri nyt. The time? Aika. It's 10.15. 10.50 I've been preaching I give you everything here tonight for 30 people I didn't treat you like you're 30 people I treat you, I treat you like you're 100,000 people I just want you to respond Because it takes only one Elisha. Koska tarvitaan vain yksi Elisa. Did you all hear that? Kuulitteko sen? I said, did you hear that? Did you hear that? One Elisha. Vain yksi Elisa. One servant. Yksi palvelija. Will bring an outpouring of God's spirit, Pastor. Tuo vuodatuksen kansakunnan yle pastorille tähän Suomeen One tower yhteen kaupunkiin will bring a yksi pyyhe tuo mantelin And if you want to have that spirit to serve, ja jos sinä haluat sen palvelemisen hengen I will pray for you. Get down. mä haluan, että tule tänne ja mä rukoilen puolestasi I know this is Saturday night. Okay. tiedän, että tämä on lauantai-ilta I want God to give me that spirit again. Mä haluan, että Jumala antaa sen hengen uudestaan. Come on, stand right here. Tule ja seiso täällä. Come on. Tule tänne. Carmen, come. Carmen. Carmen, come. Come on. Come on. Stand next. Stand next. Now listen to me. Come close. Now, I love you guys. I've seen you before, I think. No. I've seen some of you before. I'm not sure. But I remember some people's faces from maybe last time. I wasn't sure. Maybe somehow, I'm sorry, but I know God brought you here tonight. I didn't come here for money. I haven't talked about money. I've been ministering for three hours. And I believe there could be one person in here One. That will be used to bring revival in Finland. Amen. And I'm telling you, it just has to have a spirit, Pastor. Lord spoke to me. To come. When I saw what was here, when I saw what was here, I thought I made a big mistake. I thought I gotta, I maybe made a mistake. Because the tickets to come here are very expensive. And I've never traveled alone in 33 years. I was a little nervous to be by myself. Can we turn the cameras off? Oh. 